deeply weird day in an already strange trial. The woman accused of befriending and then murdering a lottery winner had to have a doctor with her in court on Friday. What's going on here? ABC's Mark Greenblatt is on the story. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you, sir. You know, this is the trial that just gets stranger every single day as the days go on. First, the murder suspect almost gets thrown out of court and now testimony about her proposition for sex with a detective who was hot on her trail. She um, told me that she could get a free room at the Hard Rock Casino and, and um, her perform sexual acts on me. Detective David Clark dropped the latest bombshell in Dee Dee Moore's trial for murder, saying Moore offered him sex after he caught her lying while investigating the death of lottery winner Abe Shakespeare. I told her that if she kept lying that I was going to get angry, and she said that I wasn't going to get angry, that I was going to have sex with her. Police charged Moore with first-degree murder after finding Shakespeare's body buried under concrete in Moore's backyard. Moore was often reduced to tears in court after spending the previous night hospitalized, claiming medical problems. I had an anaphylactic shock. This just one day after she almost got thrown out of her own murder trial, allegedly for making faces to communicate with jurors. Ms. Moore, I've cautioned you throughout these proceedings. It's not acceptable. Shakespeare had said that after he won that $17 million jackpot in Florida, it seemed everyone he knew just wanted his money. I really would like my old life back where I could walk the streets like a normal person. Detectives say Shakespeare's luck ran out for good when Moore got close to him, taking over his financial affairs and then allegedly murdering him. They say his normally busy cell phone went inactive except for some mysterious calls placed only to Moore. But police say it was a charade. She had actually made those calls to herself. You had his phone. Where's the phone now? And don't lie to me. Where's the phone? Just tell me. I threw it away. Where did you throw it away at? On the side of the road. This kind of courtroom tension that her public defenders say may be causing her strange behavior. I don't pretend to know precisely what kinds of things she's reacting to, but I know that it's very stressful for her. And on Monday, the prosecution will continue its case. Dan Biana with a six-hour taped interrogation expected to come into play for Didi.